this exercise, exercise 8, uh, I'm going to use the physician database and transform physician database to a population statistic at the census tract level. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, municipal boundary, uh, uh, which I downloaded from the state DP site. And then I'm going to show the doctor's location data, which I download from Takai from our class. And if I zoom in, oops, if I zoom in, you can see our doctor's office loca locations in Middlesex County and in New Brunswick. I think I told you that the one of the problem of this physician database is if you choose the, this office location you have oops, you have like the multiple physician office uh, for example in here you have like six different office so what we are going to do is uh, we going we are going to assign each physician uh, office with the census track ID and then create the map at the census track level at how many physicians are there. So I'm going to add the layers of the uh, census track uh, shapefile which I download from geographynetwork.com. Uh, see it's asking unknown spatial reference. <coughs> the following data source you added a missing spatial reference but because the, we download the data from geographynetwork.com and it didn't have actually a uh, projection file so what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to toolbox and go to uh, data management tool go to projection and transformation define projection and choose that layer right Sensor track layer for the Middlesex County. Add. And the and then I'm going to assign the sense uh, you, know, you know projection definition. Uh, I don't know why it takes long. Okay. And I'm going to click here and then say select. It's a geographic pro coordinate system because that is the defining the original source of the data. And North America, that 83, North American data 1983, apply, OK. OK. So I have a census track data layer. Okay. So now I told you that the how to assign the census track ID to the doctor's location is using the join function, right? Joining function, join and relate, and join. Oops. And you see, if you look at the top menu, there's a, what do you want it to join to the layer? There's a two kinds of join. One is join based on the key column, and the other one is what? Right, join data from the another layer based on the location. So we'll choose join data from another layer based on the spatial location. Choose the layer to join to this layer. Basically, that is, uh, we are going to join the census track boundary, right, to the doctor's location. So let's just, so, yeah, so let it select it. And you are joining, basically, we are joining census track boundary to the uh, a census track ID to the point data, so it's a polygon to the point, it fit, it, it falls inside, right? The result of the join will be saved, and then what I can do is I can put the name GIS, and then put the name of I will put the CTR, no, 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 doc CTR doctor census track, right? Doc middle census track save. Hit OK. So once I join nothing happened, but you have a new shape file. If you click 
right button and go to open attribute table you can see at the end there is a census track ID right so what is the next step next step is basically we have to uh, choose we have to use we are going to use the Excel and then calculate the this STF ID you know based on SS STF ID will calculate number of doctors so what we have to do is uh, I have to use uh, it uh, export this the table to as a DBF file. I'm going to click option. There's an export, right? I click the option in the table. Export and this is a uh, sense CTR. No, no, uh, this is doctor CTR number two. I just want to give another name CTR number two. Okay. I don't want to add a new table. So let's just see. So this is the first section. Next, I'm going to go to uh, Excel and open that DBF file and then process. Okay. 